Ta da! I'm that Ben guy! Woo! But yeah, um, hey, I don't really know what to say at this point. I don't really script anything. I just, I'm just kind of sitting here. And, and you're looking at me, and I'm looking at you, and it's a little awkward. So let's jump into it! This month, I intended on adding the hacking minigame, and I even started working on it. But after some game design conversations with some friends of mine, I decided to hold off for the time being. It's making the game too complex, and it wouldn't be used in single player. It's just not worth it right now. So instead, I added missiles! And that went about as well as expected. So I'm looking through my code, you know. You, two years ago. You know, it seems fine, seems legit. You, ten months ago. Be ben? Who the hell is this Ben guy? Someone else was editing my repo four years ago? Oh my god. This guy writes the worst code. You know what? Is he still alive? Can we find him? We're, we're gonna go, we're gonna find him. Point being, there was a lot of refactoring to do, which took a lot of my time, but now the weapon system is just way more robust, more generic, it'll be easier to add new weapons in the future. Before actually adding missiles, I had to figure out what kind of behavior I wanted. How do they launch? How do they fly? Etc. And a lot of that was actually heavily influenced by this video, which I'm about to show you. This is a clip of a Russian anti-ship missile system, but I just think it's really interesting seeing the missile actually go straight up and then immediately orient itself. So that's basically what I modeled my system after. And if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the result. Obviously I had to go a little light on the graphics, but I'm really happy with the movement. So right now only the command units have access to these missiles. In the future I'll probably keep it exclusive to other landship type units, but I haven't gotten there yet. It's probably something I'll work on soon though. The other thing I think I need to rejig is the tech tree. So some of these units are simply better than others, and I think having these research costs go up down a specific branch is actually a mistake. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that the initial one will be like the full cost, and then the next two will be reduced cost, and they'll be maybe slightly smaller upgrades over the original. Hopefully that'll be enough of an incentive to get them, rather than just leaving them be. Especially with missiles, because once I add missile landships to this, I think people might rush those, and I want there to still be a reason to get these other unit upgrades. Well that's it, thanks for watching, and I need a refill. That's right, Ben. I'm you, and you're me, and this is a sword.